My capstone project is the exhibit that's in the hallway, and they are images from my journals from internship, and they're annotated with what I was trying to understand when I made the painting. The images really are in two categories. One was the transformation that took place in me as I moved from working with clients around big systems issues, how organizations change over time and how people are affected by that, to this very intimate domain of um, counseling and therapy and what that brought up for me. So some of those images are that. And then some of the images are in response to what my clients came to me with and how some of their issues just naturally resonated in me and kind of hung around in there, bounced around in there, and so it was a good way for me to um, uh, take that in and heal it as well. So some of those images are from that. And then there was the work. So I did my internship at Las Cumbres up in Española and decided to work there basically full time because, you know, I wasn't sure if I could work full time again. It's been a while since I had one of those 40 hour a week jobs, you know, where you wake up at five o'clock in the morning and you get dressed and you drive away. You know, it's been a long time since I'd done that. I wasn't sure if I could do it. So uh, I did my internship full time at Las Cumbres and uh, Graduated as fast as I could. They offered me a job as soon as I had my license. So I, with the help of Susan and Debbie and Deborah, got that stuff in and I graduated right after Labor Day and took two weeks off and um, got my first paycheck before the end of the month. <laughs> I got I came home with this tiny little paycheck. Oh, look, John. <laughs> satisfying. Um, I, so my caseload, I work in a department at Las Cumbres that specializes in working with children under six who have experienced a lot of trauma. Uh, so I have 17 families that I work with there, work full time. Um, the, they have this wonderful attitude of trying to get the clinicians trained in all of the various therapies that they work in, and they work hard so that you can work across, uh, you can work with each other on, project, on not projects, but on, with families. So I kind of am in the middle of this postgraduate immersion um, training. I'm gonna finish my dialectical behavioral 80 hour intensive next month and I just got trained in the circle of security parenting. I'm a certified trainer. And uh, I'm gonna get some play therapy next month. And luckily I have the art therapy under my belt. So they specialize in those four modalities. And uh, the biggest surprise of internship was that uh, my work is all home-based. So most of my clients, I go to their home and visit them in their home. And, when I was in your class, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Family art therapy. And Debbie started describing, so you know, you show up at the house and you I remember thinking, what? No way am I gonna do that. No way. And I was kind of grumpy about it because I knew that they did that at Las Cumbres. And uh, so as fast as I could, my, and my supervisor was totally on board with this. She said, so come on, let's go. And we went and did a home visit, and on the way back in the car, I was totally sold. I was like this evangelical. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great. And it's a miracle, really. I mean, it's dinner time, you know, I show up, these families welcome me into their home, you know, and this one little boy, and he's this tall one. Get out of the car and he's standing for like this year. Suzanne! <laughs> Hi, yeah, what's going on? I have something 